Firefighters spend their lives helping others and putting their own lives on the line. And when one of their own is injured, they rally to help. That is no more true than for a group of firefighters in Langford who are working to help rebuild the life of an Afghan fire chief critically injured by a Taliban bomb. Stephen Andrew has the story new at 6. For the people who fight fires, this is just another day on the job, a fire at a Langford restaurant. But these days, there is more on the minds of Langford firefighters than battling blazes. This scene has become a common occurrence at the local fire hall, talking to a friend half a week away. Be... The members met Ghulam Hazrat during a 2004 training mission in Afghanistan. The Kandahar Great fire years. chief immediately impressed the Langford group. He's really an amazing man looking to give back to his community. He's in a profession that's looking to help, and yet he's always having to watch his back. Four years later, Hazrat was in Canada. The visit not only provided more training for Afghan crews as they worked alongside teams from Vancouver Island, the friendship between the firefighters grew. Then, tragedy. A Taliban car bomb blew up Kandahar's police station, critically injuring the Afghan fire chief. If it were not for a Vancouver trauma surgeon on a tour of duty in Kandahar, Hazrat's story may have ended shortly after. He was cared for in the Kandahar hospital with military support for um, over two months. Uh, multiple surgeries to help him uh, get to a stage where we could discharge him. The bombing troubled Langford's fire chief. I kind of put it out of, put it out of our mind until I, I received a, a text from Dr. Brown and with, within a, a few hours with uh, texting back and forth, uh, Dr. Brown confirmed that it was in fact our, our friend Gulam. Learning their friend needed to travel to India for several surgeries to recover, the Langford team began raising money for Hazrat's treatment. So some of the surgeries that he would have required Required um, things to do with his uh, his stomach area, his abdomen. Um, there was quite a lot of damage from the bomb blasts and, and other things. He determined that he needed to travel outside the country to be able to do that. Four months later, Hazrat is much healthier. A bandage covers a hole in his neck, and it's just one of a number of surgeries he must still undergo. The Langford firefighters are now working to raise the $10,000 to pay for them. All firefighters, you know, we're, we're all the same. You know, we, we serve our communities, we, we uh, respond to the needs of strangers. And in this case, they're helping a fellow firefighter, a friend who is now also a survivor. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.